AxelQ is the most complete cloud-based testing platform. Let's see a demo of manual product line from AxelQ. You can watch similar video demos for its flagship Automate and API product lines. All of these product lines are also available as part of one single AxelQ unified platform. Okay, let's get right to the demo. During the demo, I'll cover these core capabilities on how AxelQ enables agile manual test management and provides a runway to automation. I'm in the automation view, I can easily switch to a unified platform view or get into manual only product. So let me do that. Let's start from a test suite dashboard. Here you'll see a complete view of various status associated with your test suite. Test suite in AxelQ is a set of tests and here you can see it shows last execution overview. You can view what passed, what failed, and there is a concept of perspectives where you can slice and dice the information and see the results by priority, test case type, or however you want. Test Suite Dashboard also keeps a track of execution trends, so you can view how execution has been performing over a period of time. You can see by last how many runs by date range or last runs or what have you. AxelQ Platform also integrates with various tools for requirements traceability as well as defect tracking. Here you can see defects that have been created from failed executions. In this case, I'm integrated with Jira. AxelQ also integrates with various other tools like TFS, Azure DevOps, and so on. I can actually click on one of these defects, ADB21, let's suppose, and it'll take me to the logged issue. The defect created automatically gets all the steps from the execution with notes on failures as well as screenshots reported while execution. Just like so. It also shows me traceability back to which test in AxelQ is associated with this issue. And here it also shows me the traceability with the requirements. It shows me a coverage graph to see what are the gaps, which, which user stories or which requirements are lacking any tests. In the same breadth, I can also measure how my team is progressing with the development and where does overall execution stand. Here in the test case tab, you can see what test cases make up this test suite. If you have seen the automate product, the concept of suite remains consistent. You can create test suites based off requirements or filtered through various criteria, or just choose static in what test cases go in. Also, the concept of scenario to test cases remains kind of the same. Basically, in AxelQ, a test scenario is an end-to-end -end use case, and a test case is the test data instance. Each test scenario can have multiple test cases, which means various combinations of data. We'll look at it in detail in a minute. You can see the test cases involved in this test suite in a scenario view as well as the test case view. In Runs tab, you can see complete execution history of this test suite. You can filter the results down to exactly see what results you want to see and, and more on the how the results are recorded in a bit. The associated defects that we were talking about earlier can also be seen right here across the whole test suite and the history of what defects have been uh, you know, associated with this test suite. Now let's get into one of the test scenarios Pretty simple and clean design for test steps and expected results. You can just type out the test in this mode or in a notepad kind of mode. You can even copy paste from a notepad and it'll get your steps aligned. There is an external test case import also, so migrate from your existing tools. And in the steps, these double less than signs you see parameterize the tests. So across the steps, you can have all your data inputs parameterized. And if we switch over to test cases for this scenario, the test cases hold various data for each test case. Parameterization in AxelQ is very intelligent. For instance, if you were to change any parameter here, it'll actually prompt you to map again, identifying that change has happened. Each parameter also is configurable with various smart options. 
like text base, list of values, as well as data type driven. This is, this is really powerful as it allows you to define business rules on your data. Just like so. Data type or data list. Let's go back and configure our account parameters to this data list for instance for both account types. And there you go. So this gives me an ability to even auto-generate algorithmically permutations and combinations of test cases for a scenario. Just like so, when I click on this auto-generate, see how it comes up with all permutations and suggested combinations of the test data. I can also import this test data from an Excel here. So let's go ahead and see how execution works. So I'm going to run this. We can run a test suite or a scenario. Let's run this test scenario. It has four test cases. So I'm just going to select two for now. You can provide more run configurations like which environment you're running against, any tagging you want to do, any email notifications and so on. The queue runner, the test runner comes up. You can simply go through each steps here, writing your notes, marking the step status. Adding screenshots is also pretty simple. You can attach one that you already have or just copy paste it directly. Just like that. Making a step fail fails the test case. You can override things, of course. It also allows you to mark all steps in one shot or just mark at a test case level. Status can be skipped, blocked, and so on. I can also create a bug right from here. Initiating it, it'll automatically create one, adding all the steps and the information and the screenshot. Now, as I progress through, I can submit my work as completed or just submit it to resume later and come back and continue. Here it also uh, shows me the report, you know, the records of executions, easily browse through all test cases. There is a lot more depth to the tool. Just want to keep this overview you know, at a high level. You can sign up for free and use it as long as you want and upgrade to Teams for collaborative project work. Manual product is designed natively to automate, which means it's a runway to automation. In one unified platform, you can manage complete automation and manual test assets in the most efficient manner. So basically much faster development and significantly lower maintenance, regardless of whether you're on the automate or the manual product line or trying to you know, increase your automation footprint. If you haven't checked out our flagship automate product, I encourage you to do so. There is a similar video as well as you can sign up for a demo and trial version uh, on our website. Thanks for your time and happy testing.